If you could get rid of any US state, which one would it be and why? All right, for me, honestly, everybody says Florida. I think it's Delaware. But what is that? Do you know anything about Delaware? I know two things about Delaware. That's where people incorporate. Are you from Delaware? I went to school there. Okay, what's going on in Delaware? Okay, all I know is two things about Delaware. Joe Biden is from there, and that's where everybody incorporates. Joe who? You're talking about the quarterback? Okay. <laughs> What's going on over there? I don't even know if it's real. What is the craziest story that you've heard of brown kids sneaking out of the house? This is from Samar. Yeah? Summer? Yeah. What's the craziest story you've heard? I mean, you've heard my story. I told it. As a, that was a special. GPS trackers on their phones. Oh, right, cell phones. You can just track people's locations. Damn, that's a game changer. Because it was different. I had, we had like uh, landlines and Nokia bricks. Yeah. Wow, so, so they, you know, like you can't even hide anything from your parents anymore. No, they just like leave their phones at their dorms and then they just go off campus. Oh, they leave their phones at their yeah. dorms. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. You know the fact that when you said that sentence, you're like, they leave their phones at their dorms. Everyone's like, Wait, they're still tracking them in college? <laughs> um, all I know is that when I was growing up, you had to be really good at parkour. <laughs> like, to get in and out of the house, you had to like, learn how to like, hop from tree to tree and like, backflip out from windows. And, yeah. Does anyone have a crazier story than that? That's, I mean, that's a pretty practical story. Anyone have a crazy sneaking out story? What's your crazy sneak? You have a hack for the phone thing? This is scaring me. This is like, oh no, I'm a parent now. What's one piece of advice you would give to people in their 20s? You know what? I would say travel. That was one of the best pieces of advice I got. And, and Bina is the one who made me travel. Uh, I very much have like my dad-like tendencies where I, I could just be in the living room watching stuff on TV and just let the day go by, but traveling is the best. And I, and I think the fact that you can do it in your 20s, um, you can move quickly and, you know. <laughs> Wait, did I say that right? No, but like, uh, you're, you're not tied down by a lot of other things. You know what I mean? Not moms, come on, dude. I mean, moms is one thing, but I'm talking about like, even when we have to go travel, there's just the fucking stroller and there's, I, mean, I feel like I'm doing an Iron Man. I'm just like dragging shit, like I'm just like, Dude, why does this feel like CrossFit just to get through <laughs> LaGuardia? This is insanity. Um, also, your standard isn't that high. Like, you could just be like, oh, cool, I'll La Quinta Inn. A La Quinta Inn in Thailand. Great. La Youth hostel, that's fine. I'll get head lice. It's $20 a night. Why do I hate on all birds? Come on, dude, you really want me to answer that? They look, do you work for Allbirds? No. Oh, okay, so then we, we can have an honest conversation? Yeah. Okay, they look, honestly, they look just like paper mache for your feet. <laughs> they look really bad, comfort aside, they're just hideous, they're like Tom's shoes, but worse. <laughs> they look really bad, dude. They look really, really, really bad. I've tried them on, trust me, yes. And you, you're a sneakerhead, and you're cool with him wearing Allbirds? This is, look at what, yeah, it's amazing. You're wearing Air Maxes, and you're cool with him wearing these. He didn't wear them tonight on purpose. Okay. <laughs> Don't do that, man. They're, and they're, you, know, you know why you couldn't wear them tonight? They'd fucking dissolve, because they're just made <laughs> of, like, they're made of, like, wool. It's like wearing this on your foot. It's, it makes no sense. And people are like, oh, they're really comfortable. Yeah, so are Crocs, but just don't wear them publicly. <laughs> I love Crocs, but I wear them around my house and in hospitals. That's, that's what I'm saying. All-time favorite sneaker, all-time? Well, for me, it's a little bit of like the stuff that I couldn't have when I was a kid. So Air Jordan 11, patent leather, and Air Jordan 1, I just feel like it's like the best looking shoe. Those are my two, 1s and 11s. What's your all-time favorite shoe? Air Maxes. Air Maxes are great. Air, mine's the Air Max, the first Air Max. That's one of my favorite Air Max. I wore to our wedding. You wore it to your wedding? That's beautiful. <laughs> Damn, you're making me tear up. I wanted to wear, um, I wanted to wear Air Jordan 11s with my tuxedo. 
And Bina was like, if you do that, I'll file for divorce. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wearing sneakers to the wedding. That's yeah. How I, feel about him with I know. <laughs> oh no! Don't do that. Don't do that. Love is conditional. Love is conditional. <laughs> Unconditional, I'm sorry. <laughs> What's your favorite Disney movie and why? <laughs> this is from Amina. Um, I think the better question is, what's your favorite Disney Channel original movie? Yeah. That's the real question. I would say Luck of the Irish. Yeah. It's a great Disney Channel original movie. It is my favorite movie. It's your favorite movie? I that yeah. <laughs> Do you think it still holds? Like, if we watched it now, would we be like... Yeah. Do I got Disney Plus? <laughs> Dude, don't bring that shit into... <laughs> I'm, jo I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I, I, do, I don't have Disney Plus. I, why would I ever have Disney Plus? <laughs> when it comes to streaming content, there's only one place that can provide you the most original content and licensed content at $14.99 a month. That's Netflix. You can share it with six plus family members and it provides you entertain, entertainment options for everyone. It's got everything, though. That movie's got everything. It's got basketball, frosted tips, <laughs> leprechauns. <laughs> How do you think your daughter will react if she comes across the Thirst Tweets video? <laughs> when I was around 10, my uncle and I were going through some of my dad's old things in India, and we found a bunch of love letters a couple of girls had written my dad in high school. I was so upset, I refused to read them. Ha ha, and now I low-key wish I had. <laughs> this is from Arthi. Where's Arthi at? Is Arthi here? You're here? That's you? You? That's you? You dug through his stuff? Yeah, she did. It was, um, yeah. <laughs> but I can't tell you much about it because I didn't read it. But now I wish I had. <laughs> so you were like, I, who told you these were love letters? You could tell? Yeah, you can tell. It was like, it was disgusting. There was kissing marks on the envelopes? Damn. For Dude, this is getting juicy. <laughs> Kissing marks on envelopes. And what year is this? I mean, we're talking about like 70s, 80s? Yeah. Whoa. Because you know in Bollywood, we didn't even kiss. <laughs> until like 2017. <laughs> That's crazy. You didn't want to know? You just didn't want to like imagine that? You were gonna put your dad on blast? <laughs> That's, okay, you're a, you're a, you're a good daughter. <laughs> you're like, mom, dad, dad is out, dad was fucking around in 1982. <laughs> you gonna do that? Uh, I thought you didn't read it because you didn't wanna mess up the innocence that you have towards your parents. Like for me, I, you know, we never see our parents hold hands or kiss. Like in my mind, my parents have had sex twice. <laughs> One for me and one for my sister. Like it was just pure transactional. Like it was, now it's weird. Now, think about for me, like with my daughter, she'll just go to iCloud and be like, August 11th, 2019, cool. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's gonna be weird. No, she'll just like see photos of like just my day-to-day -day activity. Just see just a ton of photos of her. It's just weird that they'll be our kids will be able to catalog literally everything about us. Whereas with my parents, I have like six photos of my dad when he was young. And that's it. It's like bell bottoms dad, <laughs> kindergarten dad, <laughs> wedding day dad, dad at my wedding. I'm like this is the story of dad. <laughs> uh, I, I I hope I I delete the thirst tweets video by the time. <laughs> I had no idea what a lot of those words were. Hassan makes my, all right, we're not gonna do this. Do you know what that word is? I don't know, it says, do you know what this word is? Yeah, yeah. Hassan makes my bussy quiver. Uh, a man's butt. Um, but uh, I was very uncomfortable. I'm so glad that I can make, um, make your bussy quiver. What was the best year of your life? <laughs> best year? Would you say this year? For me, I think it was second grade. <laughs> second grade was great. I had a great teacher, Miss Anderson. The second, third grade combo was great. I had a great Halloween outfit that year. I was Batman. And we bought it. It wasn't made at home. That was great. Um, second grade was awesome. Well, 
That's different because that year was, had the best moments, but then it also had the most horrifying moments. So yeah, the year my daughter was born was like, that was one of the best days of my life, but then there were also moments where I'm like, this is horrifying, she's shitting on me right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's the highs and the lows. Where a second grade was just a, a nice, you know what I mean? It was like the S&P 500 over 40 years. Just, just getting better. I didn't think, I, it had it, oh, it's getting better. Worst year, eighth grade. Oh, the worst, puberty, God, gross. Wow, those are all the questions. Dan, are we good? Eddie, I think we're good. Let's do it. You guys, thank you so much.